a Sagittarius. This is going to be your new version of Zen reading from Mark. Um, they were meant to be February, but they've kind of drifted, so we're now March. Uh, it's going to be some moon arising. So we'll do you on the left, we'll do them on the right. Um, but if you think it sits the other way around, you can move them over. <clears throat> right. So, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Arrival. Seven of Pentacles is vision, so you're looking at something, you're looking back at something, you're looking back at some sneaky behaviour that was said to come. Maybe you find out about a one night stand and it could have changed your fortune, you get a fortune move when that happens, destiny was changed in some way or another. Maybe even your peace was changed, or maybe that's what you're having to find. Maybe you've been a bit controlling, you've took a lot of action, maybe you've been juggling, there's been some drama in the situation. Maybe somebody made a choice between two or has to now. Yeah, you're very dedicated towards something. There's an indifference in love. Could be an Aries involved. Someone's making a departure anyway, and that could be an emperor. There's a loss on the situation, yeah. Someone spiritual, somebody from your past, someone who's supportive, someone you could have been a high-level connection with. Somebody could be going on a journey. Right, I won't do them all. <clears throat> So, what is going on between you and your person? That's a good card, but not after all of what we just said. <laughs> so you've got partnership, soulmate relationship. So whatever we're talking about now is a soulmate relationship. Or you're giving it another go. We're about to find out. So. Yeah, a soulmate relationship where you're both, it, you're fighting yourselves over the situation with the five of ones there. Like it's an in-your-head situation where you, you're just, yeah... Maybe somebody in the situation started to look at their ships coming in. Maybe there was a lot of things that were going on but not being said. Yeah, up at night time. And somebody felt left out in the cold. In the situation. I'll do a couple of things. Yeah, sun card. Um... And this is someone like, that's, I see it, it's a card of Leo, but it's, it's like a soulmate thing. Maybe something happened in the summertime. Maybe somebody like, almost, that horse looks like he's moving away, he's moving on. Maybe something happened. Maybe there was a red flag about something that happened in the summertime, like late summer. Well, take those top two, there's two more there. Yeah, and then we got, um, could have been on like a family situation with Ten of Pentacles, it could have been with money, could have been involved as well, somebody could have been like sharing something with somebody else with that cherry kind of card, that's what I got from that now, <laughs> like your mental state and the relationship is enlightenment, the tower moment, so it's blowing up totally, so yeah, maybe with a Leo, somebody with a lot of Leo in their chart, fire sign, energy, but um, could be you that it says you could be the queen of ones obviously because you're fast <laughs> so, yeah um so your mental state is you're looking after a new maroon name in that case not taking no you know i know what i want i know what i'm gonna get kind of thing yeah and then we've got this choice of two lovers and then we've got the star card can get it with an aquarius or a gemini oh, that could just be the Somebody making a choice between two lovers has caused somebody to heal. And then the three of swords on the floor, yeah. So maybe that either you made a choice, somebody's made a choice between two lovers and it's made the other person feel like the heartbreak. 
Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with her Leo kids going up. Could also have children involved there, and this could have been on a soulmate relationship. Wow. Yeah. That somebody was juggling on a relationship. Yeah, somebody chose somebody. And that there's judgment. It could even be a child in a situation. It could be a Virgo, definitely. There was a hermit card there. You shone a light on it, you know, and that's the truth right at the end of the day. <laughs> Ace of Swords, that's like the truth card. Right. Oh, God. Your person's got blessing. Their mental state. So, <laughs> either they've... Yeah, we'll just have a look. Because you've just, like, literally walked away from somebody who walked away from you, maybe. Yeah, this person's looking at their ships coming in. Yeah, they want to have a new beginning with stability after being in a hangman, after being hanging upside down with no um, way of getting up. It could be in... Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius with a Queen of Swords there. Somebody who feels they've healed themselves from this relationship. Maybe they weren't rushing in somewhere to speak a truth to somebody on a family situation where they felt like they were sort of sneaky behaviour. Somebody was uncertain. There was balance needed in the situation. Or you, Sagittarius, with that card there. They feel like that was justice in their situation. And that person feels like you've done something to them, Sag. There was something... Um, yeah, because that was like something was done to them. For them to get justice, they must feel in their mental state, they must feel you did something to them. Yeah. They feel like there was a tree spoken. They they rushed off somewhere. It caused a tower moment. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone felt like somebody was dangling them by some strings, like the devil. But he's got him like tied. You know, dangling him by some strings. And maybe someone felt like somebody just yeah put money in front of their face or something. There was a truth between two lovers that caused a complete ending. Scorpio card. Yeah, messages going on. Star card, that's Aquarius as well, and that's healing as well. But maybe somebody in the end had fluttery, like fluttery love, I call it. Well, in your emotions, so if you've got the death card, so that's a transformation, like in your emotions on this, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, but like the Nine of Wands, it is. Keep, keep going back. It's a situation where you keep going back to it all the time. You keep trying again, trying again, trying again. Now you're feeling stabbed in the back by the situation completely. Yeah, something you thought you should get recognition and reward and you never did. Maybe this person never gave you the attention that they, you thought they should. The Chariot card, so that's like getting in your chariot and moving away. Could be a sign of cancer. Yeah, and family situation, leaving a family situation where there was uncertainty, somebody wouldn't make a choice. Could have been to do with a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Your person could be Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, yeah. The mother or father of your child. Yeah, family situation. Someone you felt like you had a past life connection with, that's completely over. Yeah, and there's an empress, there's a late stage pregnancy. Could involve a cancer, a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Three, there's an empress, and there's two queens here, and there's an ending of all these cycles. So, so either you've got two queens involved, a queen of wands and a queen of swords, and also a queen of pentacles. So somebody's got a lot going on. But there's an ending to them cycles. <laughs> all right. Somebody's got a headache. And your person over there, they're in the hangman. They're enlightened, so they know what's going on in all these people. Or it's them. It looks like it's you. Yeah, this person over here, they're having a tower moment after this enlightenment on the mother or father of their children. There's going to be judgment in the situation. Over someone having lots of choices. And now this person, they want to win the fight. They want to win the war. Like, you pissed them off, so they want to fight. Whoever that person over there is, the one that hasn't got all those other people. 
<laughs> that's it, that person. <laughs> yeah, the emperor. <laughs> that's who that person is. Yeah, who's a fool. He wants to go and have a new beginning. He's going to send a message somewhere, a story to somebody. Where somebody where they kept themselves blindfolded, somebody where they feel like they had somebody had so much love for somebody that it's all overflowed now. Yeah, and now there's an indifference. Like somebody sees, they turned around. He's looking at the universe, giving him that cup, but before he wasn't looking. So your person over there, so I just noticed somebody's giving him a cup. Maybe that's a Virgo over there that that person is, or oh, they were Virgo, or the person that's giving. I don't know. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, five of wands, that's like being in your head, not being able to make a decision. Um, right, what you have to offer um, this person is, it says freedom, yeah, blessing and justice. Yeah, you, you, you want... You want to move over towards them, go and offer them your wand, yeah, but you've got choices still, so there's still choices in the background. You want to offer them a pentacle, but you still see a fair pipe situation. Maybe there's a cancer Pisces or Scorpio in the background who's not looking, who's not seeing. I just realised there's not done enough cards. Yeah. So you're still hiding from the looks of it. Your person over there, they said they want to have a celebration with you, said. Well, they're having a celebration. Yeah, they're looking at what they've gathered. They, they know that they're being offered this cup of love by you, but they're still wanting to fight on a relationship. Yeah, about passionate messages. But they're, they're looking in the opposite direction, yeah, and they're blindfolding themselves to a tree. Of a tower moment, and a complete ended in the situation because of a fish in a cup. So, somebody's pregnant. Yeah, and they want to come in, they've inspired online, and they've seen, so are you, so are you, are you pregnant? <laughs> are somebody you're not maybe pregnant by? Okay. What you fear about this relationship is Nine of Pentacles, being single, being left on your own. So what? So you're pregnant by a water sign. Yeah, you know the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. You're going to have to speak a truth. Maybe about an Aries or two an Aries or to a King of Wands. Oh, that's you, Sarge. You're going, to have, you're going to actually have to speak the truth and you're coming up as a King of Wands. Yeah, about a Queen of Cups, about a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Come up twice. Yeah. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Somebody who's the father of your child and the pregnancy or something somewhere. Yeah, somebody you could be karmically tied to as well. Right, let's look at your person. Let's, what they're fearing is this vision. Yeah, they're going to get in their chariot and move away, go and find victory and success. They're ignoring this situation. They're not going to passionately message you either. Yeah. <clears throat> they feel like they're getting offered something from somebody but you're over here i feel like <laughs> i feel like there's a sagittarius out there that could be pregnant by somebody else maybe a water sign yeah your person they wanted to move away they're feeling guided to move away yeah walking away eight of cups after sneaky behavior and it's there as well yeah two of swords have made something decisive they feel like they're holding a chess piece about the mother of their children, something from the past. Maybe somebody from your past, Sarge. That's what it's all about. It's illusions and lies there. It leaves them in the hangman. Yeah. And then the seven of swords, which is um, sneaky. But hey, that's the overall energy of the reading. <laughs> or the outcome. Yeah. Something happened. Something, yeah, yeah, addictions maybe as well. Something about the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Charles Capricorn, or the father of your children, yeah. You may have gone into and apologised to this person, they may have come and apologised to you, but somebody's moving away to find something better. Six of Swords, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Sarge. Hopefully that helps. Take care. Love and light, guys.